rained last night. Let's sit down here. Um, rained this morning, I should say. Ugh. Um, I'm going to go into Quartzsite and I'm going to take a shower. And I'm going to do some laundry. Almost blew over. <laughs> Look at this guy. Uh, yeah, reality of boondocking. My tent over here, but I've been kind of just putting things in. Um, I woke up early this morning and I uh, put my um, chair in there. I didn't want that to get too wet. Uh, the wind's really blowing. It looks like it's going to be this way for today. But at least it's cool out. I, heard, I saw in the uh, weather channel that um, it's going to get really hot next week at this time. Like 88 degrees. Ugh. So um, we'll see if I stay here through that. to my laundry. What I do is carry this sack around. It's like an Ikea sack, if you know what Ikea is. Or, but a lot of stores sell them. And then I just put my laundry in here. This is an earth pack dry bag. I don't really need it. This is more for backpacking, but I have it just in case. I just get those little packs um, or little pods. I think this is all A L L all, and then I gotta dry. Put this back. Okay, I guess I can just pretty much go in now. It's light. I want to show you over here. Oh, the clouds. The clouds are there. Okay, well, I guess I'll get going and go in and get her done. I think my tarp I'm just going to leave over there. Once it dries up, which is tomorrow, which is later on today, it'll start drying up in no time. This is Arizona. It'll dry up lickety-split. So, okay. Hopefully when I come back, I'll be more gorgeous. <laughs> I'm having a good morning, though. This is pretty nice. Let me just walk around a little bit, get a view. Last night, I took all of the, the emergency blankets and magnets off. So I knew I was going to go into town and the wind was blowing and it said it might rain so this is my view it's pretty cool I like it let's see where is he yeah somebody moved in over here it's nice to have somebody right across from you everybody's pretty nice here gosh I mean, I haven't talked to everybody, but we're all just out here doing Nobody's this. going to bother my tent here. Okay, let's go do this. Okay, all the window shades are off my minivan and ready to go.
restaurant, laundry, showers. Here we go. Yay. Yay. Here we go. It's open. I guess I'll get my shower now while my washer's going. We can handle it. Okay. Let's do it. This is the shower section. Ring bell. Nope, I don't need it yet. Showers, $8 per person, 20 minute limit. Wash and fold service. Number 11, this could see number 11. There it is. Here we go. Okay, this is what it looks like, folks. We've got shampoo, soap, a towel, a place to sit. Look at this. Little mirror. Hook. And this is the shower. Okay, well, we better get going. We got 20 minutes. shower and um, felt great and good timing too so yeah the felt so good I hate to even give anything negative about it but every once in a while the hot water just stopped like somebody flushed the toilet I mean it went like ice cold and then it's like ah so I turned it on to as hot as it could go and yeah, it did get hot, but then all of a sudden, you know, it's like, now I'm almost scalding, so turn it back. That happened about seven or eight times. I don't know if somebody was um, flushing the toilet. But anyways, my hair feels really clean. Yes. And I feel clean. I really, for 20 minutes, I like washed up two or three times. Um, get all the dead skin off. And, oh, I feel so clean, oh my gosh. Um, so this is great. My um, clothes are just about done. So yeah, got my clothes in the dryer. Number 14. So yeah, um, won't be long. And I'll be back on the road again. What a wonderful trip. It I love it. Yeah, I do need a hair trim. I'm letting my hair grow out. And I haven't had anybody touch my hair. I've got some cutting scissors. I may actually have to like a little bit myself. Get this down to here so I can start cutting this. But not bad. <laughs> um, okay. Well, let's go. I'm so glad I came. Hey, got back from um, Quartzsite. And it is really raining outside. Um, the tarp was all the, it blown away, uh, blown off of the rocks that I had down on them, and I had to work on that. My hair's kind of wet again. And I took my awning tarp. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know if I should go out there and try to get that to stay down or not. Hmm. Okay, I got my. <clears throat> awning tarp over it the best I could it's really raining outside I'm really wet again but that's okay that's what this is all about so here's a little tip yeah I'm glad they got that wash kind of dug out there cuz really close to my tent so Another reality, make sure that when you put your tent up or whatever, that this is far away. It's a little close for me. Yuck. Didn't even think of that. Well, live and learn. I mean, it didn't ruin anything. I don't think it's going to rain again. If it was still going to rain, I think I would definitely, I would probably have to pull up my tent and kind of move it. Okay, lesson learned. Look at that, I mean, 
And I've lived in Tucson. I've lived in Arizona. 40 years. I just don't expect it ever to rain around here. <laughs> but it did. It did rain. It did rain. <laughs> I didn't expect it to rain. I never expected it to rain in Arizona. Like, it just doesn't happen that often. But it did, but it did, but it did. Here we go. There we go. Proof. Don't park next to a wash. No harm done. But next time, oh, yeah. This is lesson learned. Definitely. What a mess. It's all wet. I don't know what's going on there in that tent. Actually, I think everything in the tent is kind of all, it's in a bin or whatever. Somebody